1980s. So he gave it to me for safekeeping and my, um, unfortunately, the moth sated and it was beyond, beyond salvage. Mark Barton Hill is friendly with June Hudson, who was the original costume designer and had the original measurements. And I cannot believe I ever fitted into this costume. Oh my God. It's so tiny. Look at that waist. And the terrifying thing is, ladies, I didn't think I was slim enough when I was doing the show. I worked with her as an actor, so that was going to be fun. And, um, Did that mean you got to know each other differently then because you had this different experience? Yeah, so, you know, we were very much a team. We had a great time. And um, Gemma Redgrave as well, you know. And often we'd be sort of sitting there waiting for the setup of shots and what have you. And um, it, it was very funny because Chris Chibnall, uh, Russell T. Davies takes a very different view of marketing. And, but Chris was very keen about surprises and liked surprises. So we weren't allowed to tell anybody. So you had to lie all the time. And, uh, I, and luckily, I know I'd done a, quite a few Blu-ray extras. Um, and this is, this is because I might be a little bit irreverent. Would that be right, Russell? <laughs> and um, anyway, so... Uh, I was telling people that I was going to Blu-ray Extras. I made a mistake. Somebody asked me, oh, where are you shooting this Blu-ray Extra? And I was stupid enough to say to one of my close friends, Cardiff. And she looked at me and she went, you've gone back into the series. And she was right. I said, no, 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 no. It's just that the, the, um, the studio's there and we're doing some stuff in the studio. And I'm watching my Twitter feed and it absolutely went berserk. I mean, just... Hundreds and hundreds of tweets keep, you know, keep coming in, and I usually try and keep up with tweets and see who's tweeted what and reply and all that kind of stuff if there's something relevant to reply. To. Oh my gosh, it was it was impossible. It was just an inundation, you know, and it was really lovely. It was nice to know that you know the character was so loved, and then we had the screening later in the year, um, just not long before it went out. And um, I said to Peter, I'm, I can't sit in that room and watch this with the press and everybody. And he said, he gave me a good piece of advice. He said, um, he said, always watch it twice because the first time all you're watching is yourself and all you'll see is the things you wish you'd done differently. He said, watch it twice and you'll just see yourself, your performance as being part of the whole. And he was right, that was true. But what I loved at that screening was that people found Tegan funny. You know, and they did, when she did something very Tegan-ish, it was, it was sort of, it was, uh, you know, they always got a laugh and I love that. It's always pretty good natured. I mean, we, we really got on and, and as time's gone on, you know, when the season 20 box set comes out, you will laugh a lot because, bring me my microphone back. <laughs> so, Siobhan, can you share? I'm sure I can. Yeah, I thought you could. So what happened was, um, we were invited. So this is the season 20 box sets, right? Uh, you know, the Blu-ray box sets. So we, and, and they like to have extras and, and it's, they're produced by Russell here. And um, anyway, Sarah had taken delivery of a new car, Sarah and her husband. And um, I said, well, why don't, we, we, we were both booked to do this fan convention in Kassel in Germany. Why don't we do a little road trip on the way there, have a little bit of a look at Germany? And she said, yeah, okay, that sounds like a good idea. And the next thing I know, I get a phone call from Peter Davison, who has invited himself along on the road trip. He wasn't even booked on the fan convention, because he'd been the year before. Anyway, he got himself into the fan convention and booked himself on the road trip, cheeky bugger. And um, I phoned Russell and I said, is it worth filming? And he said, yeah, actually, that might be a good idea. 
And, and I think you can safely say, I think you can safely say, it, it, it has its moments of amusement. Yes, you could say that. I, I think the bleepometer is off the scale. Yeah, there is a bleepometer. Well, that's because, so Russell, okay, so Russell is in the van in front, in the back, with, with the crew and the, we got the GoPro cameras in the car, and we're following. So we don't know where we're going, we just follow. There, right? <laughs> anyway, so we're following behind. It's get it's getting towards peak hour in in this town in Germany. We know not where we're going. He he that vehicle in front suddenly on a yellow light turns left. We're in the wrong lane. <laughs> I was driving, now it was a big vehicle, and I drive a little car. I'm not used to a big vehicle. So I was already terrified driving this damn thing because it was an expensive, you know, it was a Range Rover, wasn't it? A top of the range Range Rover. I thought, oh, bloody hell. Anyway. I thought if we go straight ahead, I'm going to have no clue where we are, where we're supposed to be going. We'll have lost radio contact with them because we were on uh, walkie-talkies. And um, it, it was a drama. And I may have used... I may have sworn a little bit. Yeah. Well, I, I got a circle of friends out of it. Um, and... Um, that whole sort of network, um, you know, and uh, that has been, uh, um, I've met some really lovely people, I've had some great adventures, and um, you know, you get to do a lot of things that you wouldn't otherwise do, but it, I think, it, it, you know, nothing sort of beats that, that feeling that you help people through a bad time, maybe, or, you know, that, that, that that you help them just to escape sometimes is what you need. And, and I think yeah, that, that you helped is, is a really big one. That's a lovely thing to, to feel that you, I like to feel useful, you know, and uh, you feel useful. And that's what you're doing today, yeah. being useful. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to feel <laughs> She's 18. And Robin, come on up. And I thought she might like to choose a big Finnish single drama. So, are there any of these you would like? Hmm? I'm going to have to have a photo taken with the oh, handbag hand on. She's already a big Finnish fan, so she's got some of these. I know. Would you rather have a Bernard Cribbins autograph? Okay. There you go, Robin. Happy birthday. Happy 18th birthday.